All right, so in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually make that thing work. Uh, so uh, we just have to think for a minute about how we're keeping track of these shapes that the program is drawing over and over and over. So we have an array list of type shape called shapes, and an array list of type color called colors. And each time through, whenever our program is asked to repaint itself, it cycles through both of those lists goes through shapes and colors and gets those values and draws those things. So we have to add one of those for transparency also. So let's add a new array list. And this is going to be a, an array list of double values of decimal of numbers that have decimals called trans. And just to keep it short, you could do like transparencies or whatever. And now we just need to go through our program and um, Wherever we do the other array list, we need to add stuff for this array list. So trans equals new array list of type double. And I know that we need to use doubles because transparency is defined as a value from zero to one, and it uses actually type float. But whatever, we're just going to do this. I'm gonna we're gonna work on casting, so we're gonna just remember doubles. Um, so then we have initialized, initialized our new array list, and now we need to go down um, and actually put that array list to work. So uh, here, where we use the clear button, we need to clear all the values of trans too, so that we do trans dot clear. Um, we also need to go down and where the mouse is dragged, we need to add a new value to our trans list, trans dot add. And we just need to do translider dot get value divided by 100 because our transparency slider is from 0 to 100 and we want a value. Oh, right, okay, because that's just sending back a, an in. Is that going to solve it? Yeah. It just wants it to be of type double. So we cast it to a double, which just means like take whatever is here and slam it into a double, which is because our trans array list is of type double and this value is not of type double. So it's just like, hey, just please cast it to the appropriate data type. Okay. So you just say, I want whatever number is here to be in a container of type double so that it can go into my list of doubles. All right, so now we have a decimal point that is representative of how um, how transparent we want our object our, that is being drawn to be. And now we need to go down and where we are drawing our objects, we have to do a couple things. Now this is not as uh, simple as you might think it is. So we're gonna say, uh, f we're gonna create a variable that you've not created before of type float. So float, we're gonna say this is called alpha, equals, we're gonna cast the value of our of the array, whatever is in the array list to type float. And um, it's mad at me though. Can I cast from double to float? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always forget that. So um, we are going to create a double value, a double variable, double, alpha, double. And we're going to use trans.get value. I'm never quite sure why we have to use this step actually, but we do. So double, sometimes that's the case. You just like learn to look at what the program is telling you and kind of uh, massage it to make it work. It's not great, but when you're learning like we are, it's one way to do it. So float alpha equals, um, we're going to cast from float alpha double. So now we grab the value that was in the transparency slider, put it in or transparency array list, put it in this variable called alpha double, and then all we do is take whatever's in alpha double and cast it to a float because a float is what the um, alpha composite object, uh, which helps us set the transparency needs. So we're going to create an alpha composite called alcom, just whatever. It's just a shortened name for alpha composite. Uh, equals alpha composite dot get instance 
and then we're going to enter a rule, and this is one of those things that you just have to learn. So alpha composite dot src over, and we're going to give it our transparency value that is stored in our alpha called float, okay? <laughs> and all that, I don't exactly understand what this specifically is doing, I, although I know it works. Um, and sometimes that's enough. Now, if you want to go deeper into that and figure it out and tell me all about it, that's great. And when I have time, I will go learn more about it. But for now, this works. And then we have to set the value of G2 using that alpha alcom object, alcom. Perfect. So now it should be drawing at the correct uh, alpha. But you know, once we're done with this whole loop, we don't want G2 to be set to um, set to that level of transparency that we left off on. So we want to turn it back to one. So I'm going to say float alpha. Okay, we don't need this line. We just need to say one f here. And um, when you use floats, you have to tell it to store the digit one in a float container. And now let's see, alpha positive, uh, I think that should be wor working. So let's check it out. All right, so we start with 100% transparency, but we can, yes, it is working, good. Um, so we can change the brush size, change the color, and it'll still be painting at that transparency. That's pretty cool. All right, that's it.